David and I forgot to bring any pancakes. We got these Canada Jays coming out of the woodwork. David showed up in the evening, so we took a took a walk down to the where these dying trees are looking. We're trying to find the American tree toad woodpecker. All we could come up with was this blackback woodpecker. You can notice he's got a really a black back on him and a great yellow forehead. The next morning finds David back after the birds again. I don't mind, they're a lot of fun, but come on now. Not sure what I'm going to do here. I'm down to my last day, and drill man David's here to help me. We get all this wood to work up and work stuff to do, and he wants to go out here and take pictures of that spruce grouse. So I, may, I may have to go over and chase the bird away to get any work out of him. David has to leave in a few hours, so my goal is to get him over here. Help me get all these planks I've been cutting over the last three or four days for the roof and get them piled over here in my wood yard. We got started last night just before dark, but we need to cut some more of the sticker wood and, and get them spaced out there. I got maybe one more log to cut up, but otherwise I'm nearing the end of that. All this cutting project has been a lot of lumber. There's all the slab and the junk pieces there. I'll, I'll keep some of them just for, well, in case we need some wood to, you know, hold something up or take the big thick ends off for firewood. I don't want to get carried away with getting rid of them because they, they might work handy for if we get the roof fabric on the new cabin next fall. Um, you could nail some on top to keep the wind from blowing the stuff away. I'll tell you, I've had about enough of this uh, fun of cutting all this wood. Time to play. So much for getting any more work done. I finally got drone man David working, and then this American three toed woodpecker showed up in the snag, and he grabbed the camera, and I've lost him again. Yeah, and I. I had drill man working too. He was over here cutting these little pieces off. These these are too long for my roof board, so we got excess length, and we're cutting the little sticker wood off the ends. I had him finally going, but I had to mention that woodpecker. And he threw the tools down and took off. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. There was a second American three-toed woodpecker hammering away about 150 yards to the north, so I. Came up to verify and see if it was a male or a, I figured it was a male. I was hoping maybe we'd find a female here in this whole bunch. Oh, no, here we are. Still not getting any work done. You ready to go to work? Well, that's a good sign. The woodpecker's still hammering away, and Grow Man David's finally getting back to work. I even gave him a. Last night we had a filet mignon off of a young deer. We each had a one side. So. You might wonder where Martin is. Always complaining about me running off after the birds, but where is he now? Running around with that damn camera somewhere. I guess I asked for it. There, I got you back. <laughs> That's what they say about payback. Well, I must say, once I shamed him enough, he, uh, really got to work and we've got all that all those roof boards 
stacked up to dry with the stickers in between. Now I know what I did all week. I was fixing David those nice fillets last night and he was afraid that handle was going to fall off and we we're going to lose our supper. So. No, not anymore. Took a special torque set. I said, I think we got a torque set out there we're using. So. And it fit. I was surprised it reached in there. I'm trying to get him to slow down and have some pie and I just had a hard time getting him going. I can't get him to stop. A little bit more towards me, I think. Well, you can see it in the mirror, Martin. <laughs> You can see where everything is. So what we have here is one of Bonnie's famous chili pies. And Martin thinks he's going to get half of it for himself. Look at that. He's got two plates. He's got two spoons. There's only one pie. The possession is nine. What is that? You know, we've been we've been working out there a while. I mean, grown man David showed up, and uh, I shouldn't complain too much. Oh, whoop, oh, oh! The pie is chosen. <laughs> you know how walleye Don brings me walleye? This guy brought me a bass. Mm-hmm. I'm not complaining. I like bass. Ice cold water. So we've been out there. Got the Alaskan sawmill going. We came in for some lunch. Okay. Doesn't want to be burning any daylight, so. Alright. You got a half an apple pie piece. One of Bonnie's world famous apple pies. That's apple, it's not oh. cherry. No. Okay. Today is February the 6th, 2024. I'm wrapping up my third trip up here since Thanksgiving, which usually I only do one trip around New Year's, but this year the weather was so nice after Thanksgiving and I had nothing else to do, so I come up and got a lot of work done. And I got all those floor planks sawed up. Then I come up at, after New Year's for our bird counts and got a little more work done. Again, and the weather each time was just around the freezing point. Fantastic weather, hardly any snow or none. And I thought, I'm done, I'm done, I'm not going back up, because after that nice a time, I'm not going to go back up there and try to cut this lumber up when it's way below zero and the snow is deep. Well, come up to the end of January, and all of a sudden I'm looking at the weather, and here's this window. Beautiful weather. One side of the freezing point, the other between nighttime and daytime, and we've only got about seven inches of snow here. And so I could drive in the lane and get in pretty close. So I, I came back to the third trip. Now today, I'm, this is the last afternoon. It's winding down. I certainly tickled though because, well, some people say I work too hard. And this trip, I work too hard. I, but I wanted to get, it was such perfect conditions. I got slabbing all of this lumber up with my Granberg sawmill. I think David just figured it out, and if we, if we put all these boards end to end, they'd be a foot wide, and they'd go for two and a half football fields. And that saw in your saw knows you're going along just a little creep. I mean, so I spent a lot of hours behind that John Red chainsaw. It's a good professional grade saw, and it's a good thing because I put it through a lot of work. It didn't work it hard, but it worked it long, and it performed really well. Well, now I... Uh, this is all I got to do with putting the new cabin up. This is all the roof boards. Now if we do get the cabin raised and get on, we can put those boards on. And I brought up some other supplies on the sled over here. I've been so busy cutting, I hauled this sled full of stuff in from the vehicle two days ago. I never did get it unloaded, so I'll go over and get that done now. I've had room in the vehicle. I've been bringing up all sorts of supplies. And most of it's got to do with that new cabin build of just getting some ladders and tools and some of the equipment I need to put that cabin up. And 
some stuff I have laying around home, you know, for other projects. And got a pile here. There's some roof paper I had left over. A whole pile of the washer little nails to hold that roof paper down. And then as we get working, I thought, well, it'd be nice to... I got a lot of ladders around, but I think depending on how big of a crew shows up, it'd be handy to have some extra step ladders. So I brought one up earlier, uh, first trip in from the cab, from the vehicle. And now, another one in here, picking this stuff up at an auction house, online auction. Here's the straps and straps and more straps. Pulling stuff around, and this is what I really like. This is a, this is a little block, rope block and tackle with 80 feet of rope on there. That should really work nice for lifting those logs or how, I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but as you can tell, we've got options. Of course, we gotta eat. And I'm thinking, you know, obviously I'm gonna have a good supply of Bonnie's world famous pies. And then there was an old deer camp up here years ago and they had a, they had a food plan. I thought maybe we'll just do that. No, I got this big pot. And, okay, we get a big crowd up here. Can have a little fire going over there. We're gonna put this up on a grate. We're just gonna fill this with pork and beans, and we'll just have it on the fire all the time. And I, I think that that should work pretty good for the whole crew. Well, again, we'll have pies for that, but the main course will just be we'll just keep these beans hot, 24/7. Can't wait. Then again, never have enough tools. Oh, I brought my thermos in because when I leave tomorrow morning, I'll have a full of hot coffee because the first coffee pot down the road is about over an hour away. So, make my own. Picked up a couple more logging chains for getting something way up in the air to have something we could put a pulley on maybe. Oh, and then I, I went to town for a, a local guy from another cabin down here who passed away and I went into his funeral last week and I had an empty propane tank so I took advantage and had it filled in town and got that brought back in so I noticed this morning I think I got five full tanks out here so it's always nice to have them, a good supply of them. The most I ever use on a trip is, is two so we're good so last afternoon get this stuff stashed away, enjoy. <laughs> 